Here's how your viewers can send Twitch bits to control your GTA 5 game using Chaos Tricks. Now, Chaos Tricks is a third party plugin, so we start on chaostricks.com and I'll take you to a past version of Harry, which is going to walk you through how to set up and install the Chaos Tricks client. And we start on chaostricks.com, click on download app, and if a download window pops up, just save it wherever you want. But you should also be given this page and you need to get the Twitch extension. So let's click on get it on Twitch. We'll click on the plus install button and you'll get this pop up here in the bottom right. I'm going to click on activate and set as overlay one. If we click on my extensions, you can see it's now confirmed as activated and on overlay one. And if you ever wanted to uninstall it in the future, this is where you'd uninstall the Twitch extension. Let's head back to the website. And as it's prompting, we now need to download the app if you've not done it yet. So it's typically a zip folder. You don't need WinRAR. I'll put it in the description if you want to use it like I am. I'm going to right click it and extract files. If you're not using WinRAR, there should be just an extract button for the Windows extractor. And I'm going to place it in its own folder on my desktop. So here it is. Let's double click on this folder and we're just going to double click on chaostricks.exe to launch it. And unfortunately, my antivirus removed it. This is safe and it's used by many Twitch streamers. So I'm going to restore it. You should do the same. And I'll once again double click on chaostricks.exe to launch it. Now that we're on chaostricks, we've got to click the authorize button to authorize it. And you should get this section here, which has authorization completed. If you don't have it, just click on the common settings and authorize again until it says the authorization is complete. So back in the present, now that Chaos Tricks is set up, let's look for the GTA 5 option. And it is this one here. And to get this to work, we now need to install a few mods into our GTA 5 game. To do this correctly, we're going to open the guide. So I'm going to press this I icon here and we're going to walk through this. To start with, we're going to hit this mod installing settings button and we need to click these three dots and find where our game is installed. Now, if you're on Steam, you can right click, head to manage and choose browse local files. Or alternatively, you could search your whole PC for the GTA 5.exe file and you can right click it and open the file location. Then I'm going to click at the top and control C to copy the path and I'm going to click on the three dots. And I've already got the correct path, but if you don't click at the top, paste it in, you'll have the correct path now and choose select folder. Now that's done, we can click the install mod button and it takes us to this page, but we are not actually done yet. There is two crucial more mods to install. So once again, if you haven't done already, click the I to open up the guide. I'm going to start with script hook five mod installation. So we'll click on this link. And we're going to click on the download button here and we're going to drop this zip folder into our GTA 5 folder. If you get sent to this website, click on GTA 5 at the top and script hook V and then click download again and it should properly download. So once again, place this zip into your Grand Theft Auto folder. Before we follow these other steps, we're actually going to download this one as well. So I'll click the link to open it. I will click at the top on releases to make sure we're on the most recent version because we weren't actually on the most recent version. This is the most recent version and I'll now click on scripthookv.net.zip to download it. And once again, I'm going to place it in the same root GTA 5 folder. And I'm using WinRAR, but you can do this without WinRAR. I'm going to right click and we're going to extract here. Again, you can just do this with the regular Windows extractor. If it asks you to replace file, then yes to all. And once again, I'm going to do the same with the other zip. So extract here. Once again, yes to all. And it only takes a few seconds. Once that's done, I can actually just highlight both of the zip folders and delete them. Now, before we close out of here, one final very important step, or this won't work. I'm going to click into this bin folder. I'm going to click this D input file. I'm going to hold control and click the script hook file. I'm going to press control X or right click cut. I'm going to go back into the main one and right click paste or control V to paste. So before we launch GTA and before we start the integration, Let's look at some of the setup and some of the different things we can do. So I've got this setup events tab and I've now got this mod parameters tab and this events test tab as well. Starting on this setup events tab, this is where you configure how many bits trigger different effects in the game. So at this stage, you should just go through the list and toggle on and off the different ones that you want, change the bit amounts to whatever you want. And of course, they've got some presets for low, normal, high bit amounts and you can create your own as well. You can also click onto channel points and set different effects on channel points too. 
and you can click into the mod parameters and play around with any settings you want here as well. Now as clicking on to the testing tab, this is where we now need to start the game to make sure this all works. So to do that, let's go back onto Chaos Control. First of all, start integration. So there should now be a stop button once it's started and then click play, which should just launch your game. While it's launching, head back to the test tab. Now that we're in game, we do have to click on story mode, which is behind me and make sure you've completed the tutorial. And now we're in game, we can go back to Chaos Tricks to test something. So let's try a fun one. Let's try falling from the sky. Let's click the arrow. And if I head back into the game, you can see that all of my screen's black for a second. Now you can see that I am now successfully falling from the sky and the integration is set up and fully working.